In this video, we will see how I went from this hand sketch storyboard to a fully fledged architectural animation video. Recently, I came across this video done by Zoa Architects for an architecture competition. I can't play the full video here. I will provide the link in description. Take a look at it at your free time. In this video, I'll try to explain each and every step on how I was able to recreate this video. You can apply the same steps to your design to create your own version of architectural animation videos. Whenever you are working on any long form videos or concept animation where you try to explain how the concept was translated into a tangible design outcome, it's better if you have a clear storyboard or clear picture before you start animating them. When I say storyboard, it can either be digital or manual. I usually stick with manual storyboards as I'm not that good with digital art, but it's your choice. You can select whatever you want. We must give equal importance to storyboard as much as we give to the final output. When I say importance, I'm not saying about the quality of the sketches, rather I'm saying about the details. The storyboard must be detailed out properly. Each scene must have its own details noted along with it. It can be either lighting, material or color palette or text animation or labeling whichever you want to include in that particular scene. Whenever I do my storyboard, I sketch the basic frames and list down the points that I want to remind myself when rendering those frames. In this case, I had to break down the video done by Zoa Architects so I can recreate it. As we all can see, in this video the main element is the dreamy callout animation Second is the clean and self-explanatory color palette. Finally, the vehicular and people movement. I found this model from 3D Warehouse. I have attached the link for the SketchUp file. You can download it and follow along with this video. This is the workflow that I will be following for this video. The base model will be done in SketchUp along with applying materials. Then I will be taking it into Lumion where I will populate them with people and vehicles and I will also animate them within Lumion. Then I will be setting up the camera angles and rendering a walkthrough video. Then the video will be taken into After Effects where we will do further detailing of the animation. I had to do some cleaning of the SketchUp file. So I started with deleting the trees and deleting the 2D people which were already there in the model. Since I didn't design this building, it took some time for me to understand how this building works and what are the different levels for. Initially, I thought of using low poly trees. Then I had a change of mind. I'll explain that later on in this video. For now, we will stick to the SketchUp trees which are already there in the model. For my convenience, I saved the building trees and site in three separate SketchUp files. Don't forget to save the SketchUp file in SketchUp 6 before importing it into Lumion. I am following the exact color palette of the reference video. I created textures of individual colors using Photoshop and I started to apply them in SketchUp. I wanted to introduce section plane so that we can see the inside of the building. But Lumion does not have section fill until now. I think it might be available in Lumion 12. But if you are using any lower version, you won't be able to create a section fill. But without the section fill, model will not look good. It will look empty having hollow cutouts here and there. So what I always do is draw a rectangle, move it to the height where you want to take the section. Make the rectangle into a group, double click to activate the group, select the rectangle, right click and hit intersect faces with model. You will get the outline etched into the rectangle. Delete the unwanted lines and faces. You will be left with the actual section fill. Apply any material or any color of your preferred choice. This is the method that I follow to create section fill whenever I am working with Lumio. Let me know if there is any other method or techniques that you guys follow to create section fills. Now let's take the model into Lumion. Click on new project. You will get a variety of options. I am going to select the one in the bottom right corner. Delete the existing building model. I always work on layers so that we can turn them on and off whenever we need. When importing any file into Lumion, you will get this notification if you already have an existing file in the same name. You can rename the file and proceed with importing it. Make sure you toggle on the import edges or lines option so that the lines from SketchUp model will also be imported into Lumio. Now repeat the same process when importing site and the trees. Don't worry about placing all these models in the exact position. Just click and place them wherever you want for now. Once all the three models are imported into Lumion, 
hold the control key click and drag to select all the models and click on this arrow on the top right corner and select align positions now that everything is aligned i started applying materials i wanted these colors to be bit glossy and bit reflective and i also reduced the relief to zero for trees i had to apply standard material and load the green color as texture apart from the colors i applied glass material for the building facade railings escalators and partition and glass doors the model had a water body in front i started by applying blue ocean material i reduced the wave height and completely reduced the foam scale I also increase the wave scale and the acoustic scale. You have to eyeball these values whenever you are working with this. I created separate layers for basement people, basement vehicle, ground level people and ground level vehicles. Now let's move into fixing the camera scenes. Start by placing the section plane. You can hold the shift key to move the section plane slowly and precisely. Place it right above the section plane that we created in SketchUp. If you want you can apply black standard material with the same gloss and reflectivity we used for the other colors or you can leave it as such when you are applying material for the section fill. I start to set the scene in photo mode then I transfer it into video mode. Fix an angle for now and let's start placing the vehicles in the basement level. Remember to place the elements in the respective layers. You can hold R key then click and drag your mouse to rotate any object before placing it. Once you are done populating the model with buses, hold control then click and drag over them to select them all. Now if you see the reference video, they had a particular color for all the transportation. So we are also going to do the same. Open the color in Photoshop. Go to color fill option and use the color picker tool to select the color. And if you see here, you can copy the color code. Take this to into Lumion and after selecting the buses, click on color in the top right corner and then click on show more drop down toolbar and you can paste the code there let's disable the show driver option now move on to placing people use the mass placement tool to place large number of people easily select different people assets to make it look unrepetitive select the number of people so that the place doesn't look barren at the same time don't make it look like a stampede mix male female kids when placing feel free to place them at different points and places you are trying to showcase the circulation keep that in mind when placing people using mass placement hold the control key to add another point to extend or to adjust the path after placing the people hold control key Click and drag to select them all and change their color to white. Let's move on to the interesting part now. Click on the video icon. If you remember, we had a storyboard at first. The scenes that we sketched will be the camera angles that we fix now. I started to capture scenes according to it. And Lumion will create the camera movement connecting those shots. If I feel I want the camera to stay in a shot for a while, I will take two shots of the same frame. Look at this storyboard. I have two different sequences which will be later merged using reveal by slide transition in post. I want the first sequence to pan across the buses and zoom into a group of people on stairs and return to the initial position. Once we are done setting those shots then we can click on this tick button. You can also edit the duration of clips by typing it here. I added some basic effects like sun and shadows. Select a sun angle to keep the shadows dynamic. In shadows, you can either keep select sharp shadows or keep the sharp shadows on. In effects, you can find animation and within that there is an effect called mass move. It's a simple procedure. You start by clicking on add parts and start placing them by clicking where you want. Hold control key to add next point along the path. The arrow on the path, it depicts the direction on which the objects on the path will be moving. Always try to place the path in the shape of a loop and make sure the looping point is not within the frame because people pop in and out at path ends. You can adjust the path width here and also control the speed of the vehicles on the path. I repeated the same process multiple times to create a proper people movement. Once you are happy with this, you can start doing the same for the buses. For bus path, you can't form loops, so select a speed so that Vehicles don't reach the ends of the path before the sequence ends. After I am done animating everything, I will render this clip before moving to the next sequence as we need to move the section plane. 
let's move to the next sequence on the storyboard which is on the ground level move the section plane vertically and place it precisely above the section fill now it's just a matter of time we have to repeat the same steps that we did for the basement level apply the same color for all the vehicles by pasting the color code set the camera frames that match our storyboard animate the vehicles using the mass move tool Make sure that the path is placed above the terrain or floor that you want. Place people according to our storyboard. Populate the space with people. Select them all and change their color to white. Assign the movement path using the mass move effect. The red color in the mass move path it depicts there is an error in the path. Click on the dot and move it to clear the error. Then render the sequence. That's it. open new project in after effects i downloaded some green screen assets from youtube i have attached them in the link below drag and drop them into the projects panel on the left side of the screen import the two rendered sequence into the projects panel drag the first sequence to create composition icon now drag the second sequence into the composition place the second clip overlapping the end of the first sequence Now let's create the dream callout composition. Create a new composition with the dream bubble asset. In the effects and presets panel, search for key light. You can apply any effect either by double clicking or by dragging and dropping it over a layer. Use the color pick tool. Select the green color from the clip to key it. In this video we have three animations one is a ticket second one is a clock and the third one is a chart the process for all the three are the same once you are done keying bring in the animation asset you can cut a layer by clicking on edit split layer and delete the unwanted portion you can also copy paste effect from one layer to another by pressing control c and control v but make sure you are selecting the screen color separately for each layers when keying when the bubble shrinks we also want the ticket to fade away so trim the ticket layer at that point drag the handle to adjust the work area and right click on the band and click trim comp to work area which trims the entire composition hit s on keyboard to bring up scale and you can adjust the scale either by dragging or entering a value You can duplicate this composition twice, rename them accordingly and repeat the same process for the other two assets. Let's open the main composition. Drag these assets over the layers. Go to the frame where we want them to appear. Move the asset in the timeline accordingly. Adjust its scale and let it play. Now we want it to fade away when the camera starts to move. So place the cursor on the exact frame when camera starts to move again. Select the ticket layer and move the cursor to the previous frame and hit T in keyboard to bring in opacity control in after effects we have something called as keyframes it's nothing but a place where we can store the value for each function like opacity scale rotate etc in relation to the time to make a keyframe click on the stopwatch icon now the opacity value is 100 for this frame let's move the cursor one or two frames to the right and make the opacity value 0 So After Effects creates a keyframe for this value. So when the video plays from one keyframe to another, the opacity will reduce from 100 to 0. Move to different scenes according to the storyboard and repeat the same process for the remaining two assets. We have a edge visible around the callouts. To hide it, select the composition, click on the rectangle icon and draw a rectangle mask. You can also select the mask to be either in add or subtract mode according to your needs. For now we will keep it in add. Let's see how I merge the two sequences. Hit control Y to make a solid layer. Reduce the width, make it black in color and click okay. Hit S yes to scale and unlink the scale function so we can reduce the width alone. I wanted it to look like a bold line. I want the line to move from left to right. I placed it in its final position and created a position keyframe. Hit P on keyboard to bring up position control. Then I moved the cursor and brought the line to its starting position. 
you can hold shift key to move along a straight line i went and created a rectangle mask in add mode for the second sequence it's the mask's final position we need to create a keyframe go to masks click on the stopwatch on mask path this keyframe is where the first sequence ends now i move the cursor to the first frame of the second sequence you can select the two corners of the mask and drag it to the left side so what this does is when the black line moves from left to right the mask opens along with it you can add motion blur by clicking this icon can you see the difference what a simple motion blur can do once this is done you can export it by clicking file export add to render queue specify the file name and location where the output must be saved i am not going to disturb any of these settings hit render to export the video i forgot to turn the trees on when rendering in lumia so i had to go back to render those videos again The best thing about After Effects is that it automatically re-imports the file if you just replace the existing file with the new ones. Hope you like this video. I'll be making many other architectural animation videos soon. Let me know in the comments if you have any specific topic that you would want me to cover in the next video.